stampers welcome back to my studio this is Deb Velder I always love having you stop by for some craftiness and today I'm so excited to show you this adorable little card um, I just fell in love with it and all of the bling that's going with it it's so much fun wait until you see what we're gonna do I don't know if you can see it from there but I have a lot of texture on here a lot of bling it's just so cute um, so let me just show you what we're gonna do and always remember that all of the products that I use can be found either below in the description or you can hop on over to teaspoon of fun or stamplady.com um, to check it out there also and I'm gonna have the measurements for all of these on there because it's just so adorable all right so let's get started I'm gonna start by doing all my stamping first so I'm gonna bring in my mini misty and like I said the the measurements for this will be over on my blog so you can um, hop on over there and uh, get all of that so like I said I'm gonna use my mini misty I'm gonna bring in my teaspoon of fun ink and just ink up my stamp here. Good, good, good on the first try. I want her eyes to be a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna take and bring in this and just do her eyes just a tad bit darker. Alrighty, all right, so that's perfect, perfect. Good, good, good. And now what I'm gonna do is to stamp, um, my sentiment I'm gonna do that on a scrap sheet of paper here let's bring that in there these are just so adorable I'm gonna show you the stamps that I'm using I'm gonna be using this um, it's called uh, sentiment set and I'm also gonna be using my little donut girl she's so cute I love 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 them all right so then what I'm gonna do is to bring in some scrap paper and stamp my sentiment right here in the middle And then I'm going to do all of the cutting. All right, we're going to do that right in the middle because then I can always use that piece of paper for another uh, All right, so let's bring in our dies. I'm gonna show you the dies that I'm using. I love them. This is one of my very favorite sets. Um, it has, every single rectangle has a different design in it. And we're gonna be using the largest one for this one. All right, so let's just take that and bring in some of my cardstock. So what I did was I pre-cut it to five and a half by four and a quarter. It's a true quarter inch sheet of cardstock. I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna cut that. And let's just bring in our Vagabond. Let's get these out of the way here. All right, so the first one I'm gonna cut is this little guy right here. just so pretty look at that isn't that absolutely gorgeous I love the design and the texture on it and then we're gonna cut out this sentiment and remember I'm gonna use this for something else so I want to make sure that I get it into the center so that I can use it all right waste not want not there we go Alrighty, let's stick that over there. Let's bring you back into the picture here. And I think we're set to go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna color this in. I did use Copics for this one, but you can use anything. You can use your alt to know. I love coloring with different things. So let me go color this in, I'll be right back. Alrighty, now that we have all of your ears colored and you, I hope for you, that you went and got yours all colored too, all right, you should be with me on this one. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting it together. This is so much fun. So let's grab our base card. Now, I wanna just show you the difference between having something like this with the texture. And like I said, you will see me using this all the time, okay? So if I were to lay it on here like this, isn't that absolutely adorable? Doesn't it just add to everything that's here? Okay, do you see that little texture right there? So pretty. But if I laid it on here, look at how bleh, it's just it's just there. 
All right, so let's just grab um, one of our base cards <clears throat> and um, start adding some of our pieces together. Now I'm gonna put the whole thing together and then show you, this is what really the reason I'm doing this card is not to color, not to show you all the textures, but just to show you all of what I did with the donuts. I have been just dying to show you this. All right, so we're gonna glue all these together with just our regular adhesive. And I just love this adhesive. Put one down the middle. Okay, there's that. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Okay, so now we've got all of that added. We're not going to add this yet, um, because now what we're going to do is we're going to do all of our cute little, cute, cute, cute little um, add add-ons. I did cut this one out also, so I did use the same die, um, and I cut out it, this in the middle. I was supposed to do that on this one, and I didn't, but I did, on this original one, I did cut out this little um, thing in the middle. So anyway, because I hate wasting paper. All right, so now we have um, all of our pieces. Let's start showing you how I did all of this cute little stuff. So let's bring in our prills. So today I'm gonna to use Sweet Shop and we have a bunch of these and keep adding them all the time of all the different color prills we have. So this time I'm gonna use Sweet Shop because I just thought it went so good. I'm gonna use my little scoop, which is also in the shop and um, we're just gonna get this going. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my um, my little prills and the white. So what I'm bringing in is my Nouveau and um, this one is just the the uh, simply white and I wanted it to have white frosting so that's why I'm using the white. All right so I'm just gonna do this and you can follow along. All right okay let's take and put this in here and if you need to drop it down more to the, closer to the edges, you can do that also by using your little, your little pick. That's how you can get it in the nook and crannies. Okay, over by her hand. Good. And then just wipe it off with a tissue. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little scoop, and you don't want a whole lot of them because, there we go. See, this scoop gives you a really good control on these. There we go. You can kind of push them around. I like to push them around with this little guy. I love my little picker. Pickers and pokers. Okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? Just a couple more right there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the next one. All right, so let's move that over here like this. That's what I said, this is the fun part. It just makes you smile when you're doing it. Okay, right to the very end. If you accidentally get some on the the black line, you can just take your picker and move it up, just like the way we moved it around a little bit. Isn't this so cute? Alrighty, let's do another one. Just taking a little bit at a time. This is like going to Dunkin' Donuts with your with your getting your getting your fix of of your little donuts. Isn't that so cute? It just makes you smile when you're doing it. All right, let's do this again. One more white donut, and then I'll show you how we're going to do the other ones. All right, I'm going to take it. Whoops! I'm going to take and move put our top on this little guy right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this out of the way here and just wipe it off with my Kleenex or your paper towel or see how I'm kind of moving it around just a little bit. Okay. 
and then I can get it 3D all the way around. Alright, so this little picker is going to show you how to get it where you want it and, and move it where you don't want it. I could have done them all at the same time um, because this takes a little while to dry, especially with as thick as I'm going to do it. But I don't know, for some reason I just like doing a little at a time. But that's that's up to you guys. Look at how pretty these are. They're just so pretty. Okay, oops. This poor little kid's going to have a sugar rush. There we go. All right, so now those are our sprinkle donuts. Let me move this one off of here because he's right in the middle of the donut hole. There we go. Much better, much better. So <laughs> my sprinkle donuts, they're so cute. All right, let's move these out of the way. Let's put the tap top back on this so that I uh, don't accidentally spill them all over. And now we're going to take and we're going to do the other donuts, okay? So now I'm going to take my um, crystal glaze and I'm going to add that to the chocolate donuts to give them a chocolate ganache topping and to our strawberry donuts. And I'm going to just put these right over the top, all right? It's better if you don't shake this um, because you'll get bubbles in it and you just don't want bubbles, all right? And all I'm doing is just kind of outlining this. Now, the cool thing is is if you get this crystal uh, glaze where you don't want it to, let it dry just a little bit and take your poker. So when I was making my original card, I accidentally got some in the middle of the donut. And what I did was, you don't want to do it now because it's really wet, but when it's dry, not dry, not completely dry, but drier, um, what you want to do is you want to go in with your little poker. I'll show you after I get all of this on. But you'll go in with your little poker and... Um, you'll just take in and kind of wipe it out, uh, move it out and around with, with that little point. And it really works. All right. Oh, this is so much fun. And like I said, you can color this with your colored pencils. Um, I, I used uh, Copics on this one, um, but I think that my, um, I think that my, uh, New uh, Nouveau pencils would look absolutely phenomenal uh, coloring this. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the chocolate one over here. And we have a, a chocolate ganache top donut. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Now don't stick your hand in it because that's something that I would do. All right, so we're going to let that dry. But while that's dry, we're also going to be adding um, our little pieces right here. Okay, and so I'm just going to take my regular adhesive for this and put that on there like that. And then we're going to take some of our pop foam squares. And I want the fat ones, so I'm going to grab my... Let's see, I got my fat white ones and I got my fat black ones, but I'm going to use white and put these right under here, but I'm not done yet. Watch what we're going to do. Watch, don't watch it to the end because you never know what you're going to find. All right, so I'm going to take those and add that. Now be careful, don't put your hand in there. All right, and there's that. Oh, you know what I got to do? It's hanging off the end, so I want to push this one in just a little bit. All right, because I don't want the I don't want the foam squares to be hanging out of the back. Okay, no, I didn't touch it. I know you thought I was going to touch it, but I didn't touch it. Whew. Okay, one more thing. So there's always a fix. Let's say I stamped this up too high, stamped it down too low, or when I cut it out, it got too high or too low. So what I I didn't do that, but I just I I still like adding a lot of little textured things to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to take my Simply White Nouveau. Add a little tiny line right across here. And then bring back in my little my little prills. Because that way there, this kind of ties this, this all in and it's just so cute. All right, and then I'm just gonna take for control, I'm gonna take my little spoon right here and add some of these little guys right here. I missed. There we go. Cuter than the Dickens. Good. 
Alrighty, so now, oh, you know what I did? I got sprinkles on my, not to worry, not to worry. I usually let these things dry in between, but because I'm on camera, I didn't. So I got a, a few little, um, a few little of these little guys on there, which isn't bad. You know, when you get a box of donuts home, you know, they kind of run into each other anyway. So do I want to take them off or don't I want to take them off? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave them on there because I'm just going to say they got squished in the box of donuts, right? <laughs> okay, so now I want you to look at both of these cards. Aren't they absolutely adorable? How can you resist these two little cards? So cute. Head on over to our, our website and we you can shop, shop, shop until you drop. And um, remember to, if you like this video, make sure you um, subscribe to it. Also, the little bell that's down there, if you click on that, it'll tell you every single time we have a new video coming. Um, what I want you to do is to make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you like it and share it with your friends so that we can share all of the craftiness with everybody. You take care. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of Vicki and I. We love answering your questions. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.